Uh, Bill, I would like to know uh, how important is good, good writing when it comes to a massive film like this? It's Normally, massive movies like this are very poorly written, but not in this case. This is what distinguishes, amongst many other things, distinguishes this film from maybe lots of other big popular movies. It, the, the writers are completely brilliant, uh, both in the first movie, in this movie, and indeed in the coming one. They are really sophisticated. They can write proper gags. They've written brilliantly for Johnny. I mean, Johnny is, was always, you know, it's a brilliant performance, and he's such a clever man, and he's, they've written beautiful jokes for him. Uh, it all hangs together. It's most convoluted, but it's all authentic. The dialogue is brilliant. It's, it's easy, and it's authentic for each of the characters, the nationalities, and, the, and it, it, it incorporates the romantic and the adventurous and the comic. Why did you choose acting from all the things that you could have done earlier in your life? because I thought it would be a way of not having to get up every morning and go to the same place for the rest of my life and not know how much money I was going to be making in 25 years from now. And I suppose I thought I would meet the future Mrs. Nye, who I figured they were getting ready somewhere you know, in the world for me, and that when we met, it would be wonderful and I would become very famous and rich. It, it's, it happened. It's doing OK. I'm doing OK. And um, which film? Uh, or which uh, role do you consider a turning point in your career? Well, in terms of my kind of profile, Richard Curtis's Love Actually is obviously the most significant job I ever took because more people probably saw me as the aging rocker in that film than saw me in the whole of the rest of my career. There are, uh, at different levels of uh, sort of notoriety, there are different turning points in all media. You know, there, was a, there were moments in England on television, there was a particular series. In the theater, there were particular performances which seemed to help, you know, and then it all builds up. And then in the movies, there was a film called Still Crazy, which was a rock and roll comedy many years ago, which made a difference, big difference to me because people saw me then as, a, as somebody who could be comic and somebody who could play a principal role in a movie. And then Richard's film, of course, and then it was so popular that it helped enormously. How much do, does the makeup uh, helps you in this case to separate yourself from who you are and become? Well, this uh, guy? normally that would be the case, but in this case I didn't really have any makeup because it's a computer-generated image. So all I had was little white dots on my face. I had to wear sad grey pajamas with dots all over for the computers, and I had to wear a little skull cap with a bobble on the top. So I didn't look anything like that. So it was a bit of a leap of imagination. Uh, normally, you rely to, to a large degree on the costume and the makeup and stuff. You know, in this, I just had to pretend like you would when you were a kid playing cops and robbers or something. It was quite tough for the rest of the cast as well because they were supposed to look at me and fear me because I was the greatest, strangest, weirdest, most powerful sea creature in the ocean waves, and I'm standing there in a pair of pajamas with white dots on my face. 